Hi, this is a quick review on doing the financial functions. Uh, you're doing working with L6 financial functions XLS. And I'm going to talk about two of them, the payment function and the future value function. They are discussed in the handout that was provided in the class here. I'm going to give you a very quick online demonstration of this. We're going to click in cell B5. We're doing the monthly payment here. Whenever you're doing stuff with money and you're investing or paying for it, there's three things involved. The amount, the term, and the rate. And what we're going to do here, we want to determine the monthly payment on this four-year car loan at five and a quarter percent. We click on the FX to insert function. I want to go and do the payment function here and sometimes it's shown in the most recently used otherwise it's under financial okay I'm going to move this over here the rate for this loan is five and a quarter percent I click in here and since we're paying this every monthly we have to amortize this divide by 12 number of payments four year we click inside B3 we have to multiply by 12 okay now we have to determine the present value of this. I hit the minus, otherwise I'm going to have a negative number. I click inside here, and we have information here. We say OK. So we get $439.60. For example, if we do change something, let's say we decide to pay this for five years. We change it to five. The payment drops. Let's say we decide to buy a cheaper car for, let's say, 14000 changes again that's the beauty of doing this next thing I want to do I want to talk about the future value function I'm going to go into cell B11 what this means here I'm putting in thirty thousand dollars away for twenty years at three and three quarter percent to do this we could click on the FX or we could just type it in equal FV left parenthesis the rate is right here we're only doing this once a year so that's all we need to do and per the number of payments, 20 years, B9. Uh, what we're paying in every year, I hit the minus, hit the enter key. Uh, we don't have to type in that right parenthesis. We have $87,000. Next thing I want to do, let's say I want to have $150,000 in 20 years. I would click and use the goal seek function here. And it's pretty easy to use. We're in here. We click on tools. We go to goal seek. Okay. And we want to set the value of this cell to a uh, hundred and fifty thousand and the cell that we have to change is where we're investing it we say okay and this is a little bit narrow here we could say okay make it wider it says I had to put in five thousand one hundred sixty nine dollars a year you could also hope for how many years you would have to do this if you kept the thirty the three thousand or you could change the rate if you want to get this in one or two years you're gonna to have to get a really high percentage which just doesn't exist so these are the three things that we've covered payment future value and goal seek